Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to perform a relearn procedure uh, with the Snap-on diagnostic tool working in conjunction with the TPMS-4. Today we're going to scan each sensor with the TPMS-4 and we're going to manually enter the IDs into the scan tool and then we're going to transfer that data to the ECU of the vehicle. So first things first, uh, here we're going to select the relearn procedure icon. We're going to select our vehicle, which is a Toyota. Camry 2011 here we're going to select the relearn TPMS 4 option and scanner this is a very important message it basically says this process requires the use of your snap-on scan tool under tire pressure monitor system so we have to remember that message tire pressure monitor system because that's what we're going to select on the scan tool here we're going to select four wheels and then we're going to select the left front sensor. So the best thing is to position the antenna of the tool right on the right above the valve stem on the sidewall of the tire. We're going to move on to the right front sensor. We're going to press OK. Move on to the next tire, which is the right rear. And then the last tire, the left front, uh, the left rear. And then we're gonna move on to the diagnostic tool on the vehicle. All right, so uh, today we're using the Solus Ultra and we're gonna manually write the IDs um, with the that we gather from the TPMS4 uh, into the scan tool. So first we're going to turn on the scan tool and select the first option that says scanner. And then we're going to scroll down to select our vehicle. Toyota. And then we're going to go to manual ID. I'm going to select 2011 because that's what I have. Camry. 2.5 liter engine. It says current vehicle identification is uh, the, the VIN number. We're going to hit OK. Here we're going to scroll down to the option that says tire pressure monitor. Here we're going to select tire ID registration. We're going to press OK. Here we're going to first turn on the ignition to on position. We're going to hit continue. Continue. Just basically hit continue on all those options and then right here we're going to select where it shows all the zeros because that's where we're going to manually enter the ids i'm going to hit ok and as you can see here i have an id number of e as an edward 93992e so that's exactly what i'm going to implement And that E, <clears throat> we're gonna hit OK. And as you can see here, it registered the same ID number. We're gonna press OK. And then it just basically wants to verify what you entered. And then you're gonna repeat the same procedure for all four tires. We're gonna hit OK. And as you can see here, for the right front sensor, we have this ID number. We're 
we're going to hit OK. And then you're going to repeat the same procedure for all four types. So here we just uh, enter all four sensor IDs manually. And then this is the final stage. We're going to press OK. We're going to verify this. That's what we entered. Here it says finish tire pressure sensor ID registration, review data display, and ensure each uh, ID matches their respective sensors. We're going to hit OK. Any mismatch registration ID requires to start the registration process again and correct the error. So uh, we have to really be careful uh, how we're entering the ID numbers because that can also uh, mess up the, the procedure. And then here it says wants to display the data. collecting data from the vehicle so again uh, once we see this page here uh, our process has uh, been complete and the relearn procedure has been complete uh, all we have to do right now is go ahead and drive the vehicle for about a mile or two until we see the tire pressure light uh, light uh, turn off by itself and at that point that's when the vehicle learned uh, all four sensors well thank you for watching have a good day